All right, in this video, I will teach you how to factorize uh, and quadratic equations. So in this video, I will introduce three different methods of factorizations. So the first method is uh, basically, it's a very traditional method, which is I will just do a cross here. So from the cross here, um, here will be the um, multiplication zone. So here will be uh, plus or minus zone. Right then, uh, okay, so what I want to fill up here is um, I will just fill the first and the last number at the multiplication zone here. I mean, same uh, same uh, column. So it's like 3x squared and minus 40. All right, then the middle one, the middle one I'm going to put here, which is a 19x. Then later, here cross over multiply, I must get um, the 19x. So, okay, for multiplication zone here, you need to think like uh, what number multiply another number, you will actually get a 3x squared. But since the 3 is a prime number, it's very easy. So it's basically 3x multiply x. Yeah, some students might be quite creative, say something like 3x squared multiply 1. But we try to avoid this one. We try to make both of them also have x. Okay, so, okay, then we want to think about 40. Okay, 40, this number actually have quite a lot of possibility here. So like example, 40, we can have something like one times 40, and then we can have something like two times 20, or four times 10, or five times eight. Um, yeah, maybe we have like one or two more. So yeah, so over here, I need to choose this number. So from my experience, when I solve the quadratic equation, right, I try to find a number the gap between them is like smaller one. Okay, so I still never choose 1 and 40, but it's not like 100% like that. So in this case, if I want to try, right, I will try like 4, 10, or 5, 8. Because the difference between 5, 8 is 3, the difference between 4, 10 is 6. Okay, this is 18 and 39, so I will just try the 5 and 8. Okay, so if I put the, uh, if this is 3x and x, see what happened. So let's say I put the 5, 8 like this. I can put the 5, 8 like this, or I can put the 5, 8 like this, okay? So... I just need to imagine what if I cross over multiply. So let's see the first combination first. 3x multiply 8 will give me 24x. And x multiply 5 will give me 5x. 5x and 24x, uh, no matter how I put the plus minus, is it possible to get the 19? Positive 19? Yes, right. In order to get positive 19, I need to add the minus for 5x. Like 24x minus 5x, then I will get about 19x. So therefore, the 19... I need to, uh, the for 5 here, I need to add a negative for it. So I will just add a negative for it. So I need to add the negative for it. So basically, I know in order to get a negative 40, here is multiplication zone, right? So I will just put something like negative 5 and 8. So 8 here, if you don't put a negative sign, it's auto like positive. Huh? So this one, is, because here you kind of like cross over multiply. So 3x multiply 8 will give you 24x. And then x multiplied negative 5 will give you negative 5x. And here is always plus. Here is always plus. Like negative 5x plus 24, you will get 19x. Then after you make this correct already, so what we want to do here is uh, we need to, to take the two bracket from the multiplication zone here. So this one will be 3x minus 5 and x plus 8. Okay, so this is how I factorize it. So yeah, this is this one will be my final answer. If the question asks you to solve equals zero, then you need to work a bit further. Something like you need to do three x minus five equals to zero, or x plus eight equals to zero. Then you will get x equals to five over three. Then x equals to negative eight. All right, this is the method number one. So here I will show you the method number two. All right, so for the method number two here, uh, what I will do is. I will just straight away do the two bracket here. I will say the method number two is my own method, which is how I solve the most of the factorization questions. So first thing is I will focus at the 3x square. This is first. Then I will focus at negative 40. Then lastly, only I will go to the 19x. Okay, so in order to focus at the first step here, 3x square, I know both bracket here mean like they multiply each other, isn't it? So I, I need to put uh, 
something here, both multiply must get 3x squared. So you should be able to guess this one is basically 3x times x. Of course, you can put x times 3x, it doesn't matter. Okay, then we go to the second step here. Second step here is negative 40. So basically, uh, both number here, I multiply them, I must get negative 40. Then I will use my brain to think about, uh, you know, to get negative 40. I will just do 40 first, something like 140, 220. This is how we multiply, right? And then 4, 10, and then 5, 8, and so on, like just now. So in this case, we already know it's 5, 8, right? So when I do the testing, right? So let's say, I just accidentally put wrong, I put 8, 5 here, okay? Then, last step is I want to get 19x. So what I will focus is, because later cross of multiply, the 8 need to multiply with the x, I get 8x. And then 3x need to multiply with 5x, 5, I get 15x. But then this one, if I plus together, or plus or minus them, no matter how I add a sign for them, there's no way I get 19, right? If I plus them, I will get something like 20, 3x. If I minus them, maybe I get 7x or negative 7x. So therefore, I definitely know this combination is wrong. So if this combination is wrong here, then I will just correct them by choosing another combination. Maybe I think, oh, maybe I can put about something like 5 and 8 like this. Then I test again. This one will give me 5x. This one will give me 24x. Then I know hey, if I add the minus here, we'll get 19 in the day. Because 24x minus 5 give me 19x. Then the negative is belong to 5. Then I add a negative here. Then another one will be plus. So over here, only I test about negative 40. Because negative 5 times positive 8, I get negative 40. Because sometimes if you add negative for both, you should get positive 40, right? Then you know something wrong. Okay, so this one, um, when you practice a lot, right, eventually you no need to literally do out all these steps you can actually do in your brain. All right, so this is uh, one of my favorite methods, which I find very fast. Okay, then I will show you the last method. Okay, for the last method, right, is basically we will use a calculator to do it. So how are we going to do it like this? So we'll go to the menu, and then we go to the equation, which is enter and then we go for polynomial this is x power of 2 so the degree will be 2 here then i will just insert 3 19 and negative 40 into my a b and c value here then i type enter calculator should tell me both of the answer so answer like the first answer is 5 over 3 then the second answer will be negative a Remember, just now we actually need to do two bracket equal to zero, right? So what I want to do is actually like work backwards. So therefore, if I get the fraction five over three, this is what I will do. I will multiply three with the x first, so become three x equals to five. But my objective is to make it equal to zero. Then I move my five to the other side, so become three x minus five equals to zero. Then I got my first bracket. Then this one, I will, this one is a, just a integer so i can just move my negative 8 to the other side i get equal to 0 already right so become x plus 8 equals 0 then i got another bracket so like this i actually got both of the bracket in there which is 3x minus 5 x plus 8 equals 0 okay if the question doesn't have equal to 0 you don't write like this so basically you just take both of these brackets should be fine then this one is your final answer after you factorize it all right this is three different methods how i will uh, do the factorization myself. Alright, I hope you find this video helpful to you. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!